right, we're checking out the only game where you can run a hospital that specializes in medical malpractice. It's Hospital Simulator. If you're gonna label my patients like this, I feel like I'm about to cause the zombie apocalypse. My very first patient is named Mr. Bob. <laughs> Welcome to the hospital where the radioactive footsteps of Bigfoot will... Really? What I was gonna say is they're gonna take us to our destination is... Oh God, at first I thought this lady was dead. Fortunately, she's squirming in agony. So that means that she is indeed alive. Is anyone gonna take care of her? Are we just leaving her here? This is this... This is how we run this hospital? I don't have a problem with it, I'm just asking the question. I wanna know what I'm getting myself into. Ma'am, how are you feeling? Are you okay? Oh my God. What is going on with this lady's eyes? Uh, I don't know if that's some sort of buildup or if she's like stuffed cupcake icing into her eyeballs. This is the most concerning hospital I've ever worked at. Hold on, before I before I start, I need to know what what else are we dealing with here? What else we got? There's like a radiology room. They don't really teach you how to use it or anything. They just kind of give you this infographic on the wall. Just slide the guy inside. It's like a slice of toast into a toaster. Same concept, just with a human. I love that my receptionist has a chair, but she's choosing specifically not to use it. You know what's bad? When the staff is in the waiting area with the patients. Like, I, everyone's getting so unhealthy in this hospital that my own staff is slowly decomposing while they try and what in God's name is this? Sorry, I had to learn how to lower my uric acid. Oh, it's a real, someone's actually getting up to go somewhere? Hold on. Where are you going? I wanna follow this patient just to see if they go to, back. oh. <laughs> I guess she was just stretching her legs. Oh, we're going into the emergency ward. Here we are. This is where all the fun and excitement happens. Okay, there's just people squirming in agony. This lady's looking at probably her sister over here who's been dying for the last two hours. And on top of that, one of my own staff members is here getting a blood transfusion or something. Look at this. I want to show you all something very concerning too. Normally with these games, it's all the same asset pack, okay? Lady over here, same immunity asset. Lady over here, unity asset. Oh, it's Cupcake Eye Lady. Lady over here, same unity asset. Can anyone tell me what happened with this? This is not the same unity asset pack. This lady's head is like eight times larger than anyone else's head. Maybe that's what's wrong with her. All right, well, anyway, let, let me move to the checkpoint here and see if we can figure some things out. Sir, how can I help you? Am I the doctor or am I Mr. Bob? Oh, I'm the patient. I'm suffering from pain while passing urine. This is the most unhappy asset I've ever seen. I'm so glad that they use this guy as the patient. He works perfectly. I'm Bob. Your age, I think I'm 42. That's it, it's like, not like you don't need my insurance or anything, all right. Nurse is checking your blood pressure. I, I don't look like I'm too happy about this. What's my blood pressure at? Is it like 10 million over 8 million? Also, did you notice that the cord in the blood pressure machine was just levitating in the air? Certified best medicines, baby. Cause of current problem, I don't know. My urine just stopped working. I don't really know what to tell you about it. Did, I don't even know how it happened. Place file here. Mr. Bob, I'm generating your patient file. Are you gonna help any of the other people in this room? You know they've all just been standing here since I got here. Well, just laying here. I will take you to your bed. I don't wanna go to the bed. I know what happens when people go to the bed. They never get back up. It's all staff here. Only the staff has gone into the hospital at this point. The hospital has made everyone sick that works for it. I'm gonna die. 100% when I lay down on this bed, I'm not getting back up. The doctor will visit you shortly. Let me T-pose onto the bed. Ugh. Please hurry up, I'm having pain. She's like, yeah, we'll get to you before the end of the month. I'd be like, it's the first of January. That's potentially, I don't know, 30 more days. Discuss your problem with doctor. Hey, Bob. <laughs> We're on first day basis, huh? How many days are you experiencing difficulty in passing urine? Since I was born. Also, I don't like this. This is my doctor is so concerning and it's also not the same person as this. This is not, this isn't a doctor. Nope. It's just some guy off the side of the street 
threw on a lab coat and decided to come in here and see if he could get a paycheck. This hospital is amazing. Straight up, this is the best hospital in the entire universe. Since two days, doctor, we need your x-ray. I'm giving you medicine for pain relief. What is it? He's like, it's rat poison. Oh, Take the medicine. No. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just drinking rat poison. Considering how the game works, it is totally possible that the easiest way to cure me is just to kill me. I've waited for this day. The day when I finally get to irradiate someone. All right. Wow, that is the fastest radiology report in the history of the universe. I love that it says the chest is 97. 97 what? Oh no, my abdomen only has 54.6 hit points left. It's like a Dungeons and Dragons character. I have received my report. Am I supposed to read this or are you gonna help me out? I love that you get the report and that's it. How are you feeling now? Well, you haven't done anything better, but still feel some very sharp pain in my kidney. How am I doing any better? The doctor has done nothing for me. Nothing. In fact, his own shirt here is trying to leave his body. Look at it. It's like something. It's like venom. The symbiote is attempting to leave the doctor's frame. This is the weirdest game I've played in a long time. Your ports are showing a small stone in your kidney. Oh, I can't wait for you to tell me how I'm going to get rid of this. I love that I'm not at all laying in this bed. I'm just levitating in the bed. I'm seven inches above the mat in this bed. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the dialogue in this game is so much gold. Nothing serious. I'm writing you some medicines. Take them regularly for two weeks and you will be all right. This face tells me I'm not going to be all right. Is there any precautions? Yes, you must drink plenty of water. My mom's been telling me to do that for the last 42 years. Now you can go. Am I just going to be friends with the stone in my kidney or uh, am I going to be urinating this thing out in a couple of days? Because I feel like I should be prepared for that. I feel like I have received absolutely no help inside of this hospital at all. Grab the slip. Oh, I do have a last name. It's Adverd. All right, everyone. Well, oh, it's the giant head lady. So good to finally see you. I noticed you over in the, the unhealthy area where people go to die. Good to see you're up and walking. Do I have to drive myself home or are we just assuming I- Oh, kidney restore. It's a supplement. Just grows a new kidney for you. Take one capsule. If I take the whole bottle, do I get like 10 kidneys? Okay, I, I don't know if you can see this. Does that say 10 billion CPU? Are we talking about the power <laughs> of, the, of the, the computer processors inside of my kidney store, stone supplement? Pills? I mean, I want it. I'm prepared to watch an ad so I can have kidney restore. A few moments later. All right, there we go. Just taking it right in the middle of the hospital. Didn't even want to wait until I got home. That face says it all about this game. All right, patient number two. What do I come? Is it? What is it? There's a person attached to me. So who's the patient? Is it is it me or is this my daughter? I have no idea what's going on here. All right, little child, let me show you where you're gonna end up for the next two and a half days. Why? See this room? This will be your tomb. <laughs> From this position, my child, you can observe unending agony. Look at it. Whoa. What just happened there? I just teleported into the air somehow. Anyway, ma'am, how can I help you? I really don't know. I, I found this girl outside. They're like, are you related? Absolutely not. I have no idea who this is. Oh, my daughter broke her leg in a bike accident. She's just sitting in here with a broken leg. Her name is Leela. She's 24. <laughs> like a, a bicycle or a motorcycle or what? There is so little context in this game. Okay, grab the slip. Is this the type of thing where we go to get her an MRI and they see that her leg is broken and they just tell her that her leg is broken and that's it? It's like, yeah, it'll heal in a couple of days. You'll be fine. Legs grow back all the time. Oh, it's the toaster oven place. I remember how this works. All right, you throw the toast inside of the toaster like so. Kind of hard to aim this thing up. There we go. Get on the table there, Layla. Layla's like, I love toast. Oh, she can walk. It's a miracle. <laughs> You've been lying to your mom this whole time. 
Okay, that's kind of scary. Don't know what is happening with her texture there. So which leg is the one that's broken? Well, the one leg was up and the other leg was down. I didn't know if that meant anything or not. And the toast is toasted. Nice. How do you feel, Layla? She's like, well, I lost 50% of my brain cells. Yeah, me too, playing this game. Here's your scan report. Do I have to read it? Suspected mass? I came in for a broken leg and you gave me cancer. No! Oh my God. Best medicines. You lie. Thank you. I, I don't know if we should be thanking him, daughter. Take her to the doctor room. What is that? What's the doctor room? Luckily, the, the Jolly Green Giant will lead us to the doctor room. Everything in this hospital dies. I want y'all to know that. Even this plant looks like it's dying. See, now if the guy, if that other guy had lowered his uric acid, he wouldn't have such a problem going to the bathroom. Hello, what happened to you? Doctor, I fell off from my motorbike. Do you have MRI scan report? Here is the report. I'm pretty sure that the bones sticking out of my leg will tell you that my leg is broken. You have a fractured bone. We will do small surgery. Ah, the operation theater. This is the type of hospital where you go into the operating room and then other people get to pay to watch the surgery unfold on your body. Whoa, hold on, I need to show you something real quick. I, I went over here by the doctor. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! <laughs> my daughter is uh, is like off road biking on top of the doctor's head. I whoa on her wheelchair. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Hold on, daughter. We're gonna get that other leg broken. I can't stand you being so off balance. Woo! Oh man, giving me a wheelchair in this game is its own reward. This is fantastic. Oh, the nurse left. <laughs> I've been taking too long. Where's the nurse at? I don't know where to go. It is torture having to drive my daughter in this, this thing. This isn't a wheelchair. It's more like a, I don't know. It's almost like a crisco up washing machine. I'm trying to drive around. Ah, the operation theater. Wonderful. I've got one viewer today that has paid to watch me get my life ruined inside of the operating area. We need to start operation. Do I, does my mother get to be a part of this? Is she, is she gonna be hired help basically? It's like a volunteer, a volunteer doctor. Again, she's, she's totally able to walk. Liar. This is a giant lie. You just want attention, don't you daughter? Attention seeking, that's what's happening here. Okay, there's a leg. Start performing surgery. Yep, it's just me. Just a mother. Hello. I'm the one that has to perform the surgery. So we're gonna cut the uh, we're gonna cut the baked potato over here. Ah. You gotta open up the baked potato. Okay, you said this was a minor fracture. Okay, that is not a minor fracture. Also, I never knew that inside of my daughter was just cotton candy. I love how hyper realistic they made their surgery. And by hyper realistic, I mean this surgery is the most unrealistic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, we're just gonna push that in with our hand. There we go, no big deal. Then we're gonna throw a metallic uh, ruler on there. Just like so, look at that, looking good. Just, just smash it in there. Yeah, put some bolts in there too. A couple of rivets inside of the plate. Ah, oh, there we are. Just stitch the whole thing up, boop, 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 bam. There you go, we're gonna throw a bandaid on it. <laughs> Pain, free, crutchy. Yay! Pain, free, crutchy. I need to know what the next game, at this point, these, uh, these cave files are incredible. All right, what are we dealing with today? This game just went from like a zero to a hundred. How can I help you? Is this my hair or is this a hat? Man, my, this hat has been surgically implanted into my skull. Can I have it removed today, please? I'm having too sensitivity and pain. I need to consult with the dentist. Isn't that a completely different doctor? I don't know that we have a dentist here. Oh, let me make a dentist slip. Apparently we do. Just all the doctors in one area. This is like the Walmart of doctors. This guy's 45. I feel like you may have chose the wrong model for a 45 year old. Where's the dental room? All around me are just people slowly dying. Doctor room? Dental room. Oh, what's inside the patient room? I mean, supposedly it's specifically made for me. I wanna know what's inside of it. Can I open it? You don't have permission to enter the patient room. 
I am a patient. All right, guess we're going into the dentist room. No one smiles like that the dentist. This is a lie. Hi. Uh, we, are we just gonna stare at each other awkwardly? Also, how come your two seats are facing like this? This is so strange. Like the one person has to stare at the other person intently while they're talking to the dentist. Okay, real quick. Am I really small or is my dentist really big? This lady's like seven foot eight. You're the Dwayne Johnson of female dentists. Do you feel sensitivity in your teeth? Yes, I am feeling pain while taking cold items. What a weird way to say this. For how many days since last three days? We're now gonna examine your cavity. Which one? She's like, now in order to find out if there's anything wrong with your teeth or gum line, we have to stick our hands up your rectum. Oh boy, go and sit on Dennis's chair. I am really concerned about this. Mr. David, sit down and open your mouth. All righty, let's go and slide on into the seat here. Eat the, uh, the monitor. No big deal. Oh, the mouth opening. I love it. That is glorious. <laughs> Notice these two are nothing alike. <laughs> this is what a person really looks like when they're at the dentist. Are you going to look at me or are you? what are you looking at? She's over here. She's like, I could, if I could do a filling blindfolded. I don't need to look in your mouth when I'm doing this. Let's discuss your diagnosis. Again, you didn't do anything. I feel like in this hospital, they just come up with whatever they want. I don't even think there's anything wrong with my guy. Here's a fluoride gel and a mouthwash. So what do I, do I like put it into my whiskey or am I supposed to drink this or do I rub it on my skin? Use this gel in the early morning and before sleep for 15 days. How's the condition? There is no infection. Your cavity is fine. Thank you, your, your cavity is fine too. Again. No filling or anything. I'm just sitting here with a cavity and she's like, yeah, just keep do using the mouthwash. It'll be fine. Leave the hospital. Thanks for nothing. Is this hospital government funded? Like, I'm not paying for this, right? This is your tax dollars at work. I want you all to know that. Oh, no. We're helping, well, air quotes, helping children now. Well, we have to kill everyone from every age group. Am I here with my parents or anything? I'm all alone. I think I am anyway. I don't know. There is a patient boy in the emergency room shivering with a cold. Kindly see him. He's gonna turn into a zombie, isn't he? Did he just, did he just infect everyone else in the emergency room? Oh, I'm this guy now? Oh, I can't wait. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, has anyone in here been helped at all? Nope. Now before I, before I step over here, I wanna see, let's take a look at this show. My God, ma'am. There's something wrong with your child. Looks like a young version of Henry Cavill or something. There are no thoughts behind this woman's eyes. She has given up. This probably isn't even her kid. Hey, hey, kid, I don't think I can help him. It's possible he's been dead for the last 10 years. Well, still gotta make a paycheck though, so let's give this a shot. Is there any patient in emergency? The only thing that's an emergency is your grammar skills. And yes, they're all an emergency. All of them. Every single emergency bed is filled, doctor, because you haven't helped anyone in six years. Yes, doctor. I will take you to the patient's bed. Okay. I think I've already been there, but it's fine. Hello, everyone. I am doctor. What are you feeling, young lad? I feel pain in my throat. My body is very hot and I am shivering. I mean, that's better than I had expected. I straight up thought you weren't gonna answer me. I thought you were dead already. Let me check your temperature. Okay, are we using, are we using like the Imperial system here? How's this working? Where am I shoving this thing? Nope. Uh, open your mouth, <laughs> boy. Hey, crazy. <laughs> the, the way that they word things in this game drives me crazy. It's done. All right, let's take a look at the temperature here. You are having fever up to 102 degrees. This is Celsius, everyone, by the way. I will write down some medicines, take them all at once. No other information on how to use this stuff. Right medicines for the boy. Okay, let's grab the medicine chart over here. You're gonna take, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna throw down some ibuprofen. I'm gonna have you take some Mentos. I'm gonna have you take some Coke all at once. Uh, I'm gonna have you take some uh, Pine Sol. I think Pine Sol. 
would help. Uh, what else here? Yeah, nurse, do you have any? You have any ideas? The nurse is like, I like hot sauce. Yeah, hot sauce. Throw hot sauce on there. Honestly, hot sauce makes everything better. And if you could get it, General Tso's chicken. There we go. All right. Bring medicines. Oh wow. I really did prescribe all that stuff. I love how there's forceps on here and a scalpel. How was he supposed to take these medicines? All right, kid, here's your first dose of hot sauce. And we're going to eat us. Oh, I'm not the doctor anymore. I'm the nurse now. There you go. Yep, just drink the whole bottle of Tabasco. Take rest. It's about an hour. Let me check your temperature. What would be amazing is if they do the temperature and the kid's temperature is like 50 degrees. All righty. Does he pass the room temperature <laughs> challenge? Here we go. There we are. Gotta wait for about uh, two seconds. That's how fast the thermometers are. It's done. Now your temperature is 100. He still has a fever. <laughs> Take these medicines, give him for five days, and make him rest until he is fine. What if it doesn't make him better? <laughs> We've done nothing. Go back to doctor room. Are you, are you just gonna, are you leaving or are you staying? I guess they're staying. They're just gonna, it's gonna stay inside of the emergency room forever. No one ever leaves the emergency room because no one ever gets fixed. What? What do you, what is this? What is this? Is this a gang sign? Are you holding a gun? I think all of my, my medical technician's fingers are broken. That looks so unbelievably uncomfortable. Wow, he is double fisting the medicine. Yeah, just take a bolt at the same time. Well. I guess I could just go back to my office and meditate on a day where I've done absolutely nothing. We've helped no one in this game. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Hospital Simulator. Till the next time, stay fine, stay much love.